Hi everybody, Dollar Tree Trisha. Um, as most of you know, I went to a scrapbooking retreat last weekend, last Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I came home on Monday. Well, after being home on Monday, on Tuesday, I got pretty sick. I've been coughing and sneezing and achy. So I didn't mess around. I hurried up and went to the, <laughs> the doctor and he said that I had a bad case of bronchitis that he hoped would not turn into pneumonia. And I was like, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so um, he gave me an inhaler, which I've never used before. Um, some cough medicine with codeine in it and some antibiotics. So I am feeling better. I'm not probably sounding better. I'm still really tired, but um, I think I'm at least upright now and able to get dressed. I've been in my pajamas, clean pajamas every day, <laughs> my pajamas every day for quite a while. Well, since Tuesday. Um, I'm going to be going back to work tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I love my job. But if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm doing a little update of where I have been because I haven't been on. And I'm doing um, a recap of the retreat that I went to. Now, the retreat that I went to was called Under the Big Top. And it was put on by three craft chicks. Um, and if you want to know, sorry about that. If you want to know more about um, their store that they have here in Airway Heights, um, you can go to www3, the, the number three, cra three craftchicks.com. And I'll put the link um, below in the description box. Um, my friend Michelle owns the store and, and her daughter Lauren. Um, and they're amazing people, and it was a really super fun retreat. Um, I'm going to show you the make and take that we made, that everybody got to make and take home. And I'll show you the everybody class that was included, that we finished in the retreat. This was the make and take, designed by Lauren Seals, an owner of Three Craft Chicks. Um... This is so cute. They're just big tags with chipboard. And then, and they're held together with foam tape. There's a piece of foam tape under here. And I'm going to hang this in my craft room. And I'm going to put a picture from the retreat and do a little journaling on this side. But isn't that adorable? This was made from the Create line. And I believe it's... I don't know for sure. I think it's Simple Stories. Oh, boy. I don't know for sure. But if you Google, um, uh, I or no, this is Crafty Girl. Is it Crafty Girl? This might be Crafty Girl line. I, you know what? I'm still kind of not on here. I'm still got a fever and stuff. But anyway, this is what we made, and it's super duper cute. Lauren always comes up with the best ideas. She's so creative. She's amazing. Okay. Then, the everybody class, we did three layouts. We did three 12 by 12 layouts. They go in a 12 by 12 album. We did this with the guest that um, Michelle brought in, and her name was Susie West. So they come up with a everybody class. And we do it. This one's a double page layout. I don't know how to best show this to you. I'll show you this one first. Is that not the cutest line? This is a doodle bug line. I think it's called Winter Wonderland. But isn't that cute? Look at those colors. It's so adorable. It's so adorable. I haven't done this yet, but on these mountains where the snow is, I have this fake snow. It's called... Um, I think it's called Snow Tech, and you put it on there, and it'll look like real snow. So, I'm going to put that on there. This was the other page. 
that went with it. Isn't that super duper cute? I'm telling you, these are so, these are treats are so much fun. And if that's not enough, look at the back paper. Isn't that not cute? I just love that. I'm thinking I might do pages on the back of here because the paper's so cute. But this is what it would look like together. However you want to put it in your book, or if you want to do it this way, however, whatever way you want. But super duper cute. And I'm going to do the same thing on the mountains over here. Just have not had a chance to do that. I literally am just unpacking my stuff from getting back last Monday. Um, then there was this one. Isn't that cute? And this says winter. And then just put a picture in here. And look at the back of this. This is cute, too. I might do another page on the back. So those were our, that was our everybody class, which was super fun. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, here's something that I worked on. Bella Boulevard, which is a company, a scrapbook company that I love. And they're affiliated with Doodlebug that I love. Um, came out with these laser die cuts. This circle, the white circle and the trees, that was a die cut. There was nothing behind there. I had to trace around and glue the paper behind and cut out the circle to match. But this was our um, 2019 family picture with our dog, Buddy. We always dress up to match. So me, Buddy, and my husband, Chris, and Santa. And um, like one year we've done, we did elf ears. <laughs> one year we did... Um, I had the dogs dressed up. This is when we had Tiny at the time, our little Yorkie. Tiny and Buddy dressed up in Seahawks stuff. And Chris, my husband loves the lions because we're from Michigan. So we did one like that one year. We just done lots of different ones. So that was what one thing that I made. The other thing that I made was I did this book. This book is a plain white book. And the book is by 49 and Market. Okay? But this is the... I think this is Photo Plays Gnome Mine, and I just made a little bookie. And I'm going to put pictures in. Oops. And then that. It's hard to show. And this opens up. And then these have some tags in here. I feel like I'm not, I feel like something's not opening. Nope, it's just thick. Okay. <laughs> and then this. And then this opens like this. This, um, is a kit. Part of it is a kit from a website that I love to buy kits from, but I, um, had this paper and I didn't have the book that they had. So I had this 49 and market book. So I made more pages of mine. So part of it was a quit. Like this is my own page. These are my own. This was my own. I guess I could have gone through and shown you other ones that were mine. Um, but yeah, I made this cute little book. But mine, like I said, mine did not have, my book was bigger than the one that they used. So I just adapted it um, to what I wanted. But I will put um, the link for her kits too. Um, she's on Etsy and I know her artsy albums is what it is, but I will link it below. So that you, if you would like to order a kit, and she's got lots of them can order a kit there. Um, if, uh, yeah. So anyway, let's talk about other things at the retreat. Well, my friend Peggy, I ordered this cup from her and I love it. It's got my name on it. It's all blinged out because I love blingy and I like pink. And I have my water in here right now that I can't survive without. Well, on, I think it was, was it Friday? Saturday 
I want to say, I can't remember, this is terrible, I can't remember if it was Friday or Saturday. I want to say Friday, because uh, the girls that, my friends that I was staying with, they're like, oh, we're going to have a breakfast date, this will be fun. So I'm not, well, that's weird. I'm like, okay. So we go down, and um, we're all eating breakfast together, and then all of a sudden, our other friend Diane comes and sits down, and as soon as Diane sits down, literally everybody at the table leaves and I'm thinking to myself is that my friend D and Diane was still there and I'm like we can't leave Diane sitting here by herself she just sat down so I was like I'm in no hurry to get down to the craft room I said you know so I'm just we sat with her while she ate then my friend D says to me um Valerie who's the other girl that we room with Valerie needs you down well she goes Valerie Valerie needs help and she's in the room well, I thought <laughs> she meant the room that we sleep in. So I go, and our room was on the third floor. Go up to the third floor, go to the room. <laughs> Nobody's in there. And the funny thing about that is that um, when we left the room in the morning, Valerie asked me if I was coming back up at all. And I said, no, I have everything. I, I don't want to come back up to the room. <laughs> so I thought this was a ha-ha, you had to go back to the room prank right so I'm thinking great they got me ha <laughs> ha so I go back down to the craft room and when I walk into the craft room I walk in and I see all these balloons and our table we had all these tables that were put together had balloons and a big banner that said happy birthday tr happy 50th birthday Trisha and they all, all yelled surprise I was like what I, I had literally had no idea. I had no idea. Because my birthday was on the 9th. <laughs> and this retreat was on... Oh, yeah, it was Valentine's Day that I did it. Yep. So it was that Friday. So... <laughs> and they're all wearing these shirts that say... Um, classy and sassy birthday squad or something like that. And they're black and pink and... That's awesome. And Michelle, the owner of the store, who's putting it on, and her daughter have them on. And every, I don't know, there was two, four, six, eight, nine of my friends all had them on. And, th and then they had a shirt laying there for me that said, <laughs> this queen makes 50 look fabulous. And they got me, check this out, they got me a 50th birthday crown, <laughs> which I love a lot. I love it. You know me. I like a crown because I, I, I'm a princess. And they all know that I'm a princess. And then they had this sash that says 50 and fabulous. So I had that on. So I went and put my pink shirt on. And I put the sash on. And I had my this on. And then it was just gifts galore. They really outdid themselves. I, I was shocked. I had no clue. I can't believe they kept it a secret from me. Even though we live in different towns, it's still, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just shocked. I, I was very, and I really felt loved. I mean, that was amazing. That's the very first time I've ever had a surprise party for me. And so that was really awesome. That was great. And then if that's not enough for the day, I had cake present. I mean, it was just insane. Um, then they, uh, my husband came and... He, after work, and brought me um, pink roses and this humongous box of chocolates. I mean, it's big. And I was like, why did you? Well, I thanked him, of course. Thank you for bringing it. But why such a big box of candy? I'm like, oh, my Lord. He goes, well, I knew you wouldn't eat it all. He said, take what you want. And then we have a shared table counter type thing. And he goes, put it up there for your rest of your friends and the people at the retreat to enjoy so I did that. So I really had the best, re this was the best retreat for me <laughs> because it incorporated my birthday and um, scrapbook fun. So I wanted to let you guys, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, know about that and that I will be getting my videos in order. I want to do them when I can talk more without coughing. Um, but I, I know I'm behind. February basically is over, but I will show you the layout that I did um, 
for February for my traveler's notebook. And I have a bunch of Easter crafts that I'm starting and some other fun things to show you. So I hope you um, enjoyed this video and I just wanted to just update you and let you know where I've been and that I am coming back and I'm starting to feel better. So every day is a little bit better. <laughs> so yeah, there was some bug at the retreat because a lot of people got sick. Some people got the flu, some people got bronchitis, and it was all over the rooms. It wasn't just in one area either. Um, some people at my table got sick, a few tables away got sick, and even at the other end of the room, people were sick with the flu or bronchitis. So yeah, so there was some nasty bug going around, but that's okay. Get it out of the way. Now we've had it, and it can go away, and it can go away. All right, everybody have a wonderful, blessed day, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.